Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in today's video, I'm very excited to show you what's new in Oxygen 4.4 Beta 1. So let's just walk through a quick scenario here. I've created a layout in Oxygen, I've assigned some classes to it, and now I want to style it with some CSS. Traditionally, what we would have to do is go all the way into Oxygen. So we'd find our page like this. We would edit with Oxygen. We would wait for it to fully load. And then we would go ahead and go to Style Sheets, for instance. We could add a style sheet called My Card Layout. And then we could add all of our styles in here. So that works, but there is a quicker way in 4.4 beta one. So let's go back to the WordPress admin panel. This is our layout that we've built, but we wanna edit it with CSS instead of using the visual controls. And we don't wanna to have to load Oxygen all the way up to do that. Let's go to Oxygen and Style Sheets. This is the new feature introduced in 4.4 Beta 1, which is a style sheet editor that exists right in the WordPress admin panel. So you can see our list of style sheets here, and you can even see the one we just created during that quick little test. If we click through these, we're going to be able to see the styles that are in them. And this one is empty, so we'll just work with that. I already have a class structure set up for this layout on the front end, so I'll just use that. I'm gonna add some styles to the container of these elements, which are gonna end up being cards. So this container has a class of card section, so we're just gonna drop that in, and let's add a background of EF, 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 and then some padding, maybe 32 pixels. Now, if we hit Command or Control S or click the little check mark Save button up here, we're gonna save our changes in that sheet. Now, if we refresh on the front end, you can see what we've set up. And if you go into Oxygen after you've saved changes here, you'll see all these changes in your style sheets in Oxygen as well. So let's add some more styles. Let's set this to a grid layout. So display grid, grid template columns, repeat three, one FR. And because of the way oxygen sections are structured, we actually need to apply this grid layout stuff to a different selector. So it'd be card section and then CT section inner wrap. There we go. And let's go ahead and save that and jump up here. Now we get our grid layout, but we also want some gap. So let's do a grid column gap of 16 pixels. Save that and jump up to the front end. Now we have our gap. Maybe we'll make that a little bit bigger. Let's do 32. And we'll do a grid row gap of 32 pixels as well. There we go. It's starting to look pretty good, but going back and forth and saving and refreshing is kind of annoying. So what we did is we also added a hot reload option. So let's just move this over so that we have this page up side by side. Let's refresh. Yep, we have our styles there now. Now we just need to enable our hot reload feature here on the back end, refresh the front end. And now when changes are saved, this front end will go ahead and refresh automatically. So let's go ahead and style the cards. Let's do card section card. Let's do padding eight pixels, background white, display flex, flex direction, column, and we'll do a gap of eight pixels. Now, if we save that, you're gonna see without me doing anything else, the view on the right-hand side is gonna go ahead and refresh to show all of the changes that I just made. Let's go ahead and add some border radius, maybe eight pixels on these, and then save. And as you can see, after a few seconds, it goes ahead and refreshes and gives you your style. So let's go ahead and finish out these cards really quickly. We'll do card section icon with 32 pixels, margin bottom, Let's add 16 pixels here to give it some more space. Then let's do card section, card title. And actually this should be card icon. And for the card title, we'll set the font size to two rem. And then we just wanna style our button here. So card section, card button. We'll do padding eight pixels and 32 pixels. Background, EF, 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 color black and border radius eight pixels. Now I'm not gonna guarantee this is gonna look great, but let's go ahead and save. And then the hot reload will do its thing over there. And now we see all of those styles applied. 
So not only can we edit style sheets with a nice hot reload feature in the back end under oxygen style sheets, but we can also create and delete style sheets. So this one, for instance, I don't want, I'm gonna get rid of that. That deletes it in the database. Once we save, we can also create a new one. So let's just say my new style sheet. And this is going to be a style sheet that exists in oxygen now. And in fact, let's go ahead and copy these styles from here. We'll delete this sheet and then we'll go over here and paste them here and save. And then if we jump into Oxygen, we can see that we've manipulated the style sheets directly and those styles are still applied. And then we can come in here and edit things visually if we want. But under Style Sheets, you can see Uncategorized, Sample Page OctuUtil, and then My New Style Sheet with all of these styles that we've just written. So when it comes to editing style sheets in Oxygen, Oxygen 4.4 is gonna introduce a much quicker workflow, and I expect that most users will really come to enjoy this feature. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's what's new in Oxygen 4.4 Beta 1. Thank you very much for watching.